Okay, okay, do it one more time now. Do it one more time now. Okay. I'm not here to make friends, I'm here to make money, and that's really what it is. Don't listen to what Eddie says, I'm the boss, get back upstairs now! People are just annoying me all day long. I don't care what you do in, with other agencies, I care what you do when you're representing our agency. Our model's smart. <laughs> no, they're really dumb. <laughs> you guys assured me that that would be the last time there would ever be tears or fights or any of this. And the, it just gets very old after a while. I knocked that kid out. Yeah. Hang on one second. <laughs> See, I'm not a bitch. Everybody I work with, um, we just, our staff from Brian to Stacy to Erica, everybody is just so random in their thoughts and personalities and we all come together to make such an exciting group. Um, our models, on the other hand, <laughs> we love them, but some of them do have some issues. Hey, she bit my hand and she stormed off. She bit her hand? Her hand. Just the other night, uh, we had a girl get drunk on set. Well, an hour in, I guess Melissa might have had too much to drink. David said she already seemed like she was drunk, which she had enough. She was showing her panties to, you know, the other extras on set as well as the director, which I think he kind of liked, but, you know, they had to send her home. Security was behind us. She kicked me and she punched me a couple times in the face and security stopped her and um, escorted her off the property. I picked her up across the street. I think she definitely has some issues, family life at home. I think there's some good in her though, and I'm gonna try to explore that and maybe sit down with her and see what we can do to help her. It's funny that I get the reputation of bitchy queen here because I'm probably the nicest person here. Good, you're the best. You know you're my favorite. Bye. I can't stand her. I love you too. Thank you, sweetheart. Okay, bye. She's such a pain in the ass. No, you're my favorite. No, you hang up. No, you hang up. I'm hanging up. Oh, God. Everybody likes me. I treat everybody with respect. Okay, cute. Cute, sexy, old, pretty. I still think I'm the nicest one here, not the bitchiest. But I mean, you can be a bitch just like anybody else can. It's, you know, how people rub you if they rub you the wrong way. I'm talking in here. They call me the crazy cat lady here because I'm just ridiculously in love with my cats. What sets me apart here at Red is that I have the most job security of anybody else here, and this is why. The biggest thing for me, the transition from New York to Vegas, it's, it's the people. Can I see pictures? Sure. Thank you. Really, lady? Can I ask who shot these? Um, people say us New Yorkers are rough and, and, and forward, and I don't think that's the case. I think people here just don't know how to perceive you, and so they take you as rude and blunt and obnoxious and... My friend? Your friend, yeah. 
Kind of looks like your friend shot him. Did he charge you? That's just not the case. We're just we're just outspoken, and people here are not outspoken, so they don't know, actually know how to take you. Yeah, we're not going to be able to do anything with these. No, I definitely not. Life when it. it's a magic you Family is probably the most important thing in my life. My wife and my two kids. Hi there. How are you? Good. What are you guys doing? But with this job comes hours, and sometimes I don't see them at, at all during the day. Sometimes I see them one hour in the morning before they go off to school or I'm off to work. And I threw the Bellagio to drop off a contract. I have a present for the people who are playing in Hollywood. I need to go to the Nine Group, pick up photos from the event we did last week, and then I have to go to Mirage, check in talent, and I should come back here to the office and be done, and I'll be home. So the hours just make your life go crazy, but sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do. Kids when they graduate. So pretty much not only do I book the talent for the dances, I actually do the job as well. So I um, pretty much keep in shape. That's the reason why I do it, is to you know dance with them, keep an eye on my talent, because they're worried. See, they're worried. Talent We're talent skills. skills. Now, what qualifies you guys to be talent skills? We're professional hockey players. Not to mention our sister owns a place. Yeah, I guess that helps. Yeah. You know, it's not that I hate drama, I I really hate wannabe actors. And I open the bag, and what's looking back at me but... People who, you know, think that they can be actors, they have no training. I can't eat this, sir. I cannot deal with special sauce. Yeah, take that one. <laughs> <laughs> you want to give me your own special sauce? We'll talk. Here's my number. All right, let's go, baby. Let's go right now. <laughs> Right. I've never been a class, I've never been a play, you know, and all of a sudden they think, oh, I'm gonna be an actor. Fuck, lady! You're fucking killing me! Like, you are killing me, you're an idiot! What the fuck is going on? Like, seriously? Seriously? Okay. That's what I hate. I hate that. <laughs> when you're lost in the groove of the city. So they call me the fixer here, and. Straighten it up. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> I'll do it. See you.